Hi there guys and welcome to this presentation on Windows 8 minimum hardware requirements. For this lesson I'm going to be looking at what minimum hardware requirements are and more specifically what the minimum hardware requirements are for Windows 8. To begin with let's start by looking at what minimum hardware requirements are. Every operating system, Microsoft and non-Microsoft, comes with its own set of minimum hardware requirements. When referring to an operating system, we are essentially talking about how powerful a computer must be in order to install that operating system. Every reputable vendor who provides an operating system should provide a list of minimum hardware requirements for that operating system. To visualize this better, let's imagine that you have a computer. You want to install an operating system like Windows 8 onto this computer. Minimum hardware requirements tend to focus on how fast the computer's processor must be, the amount of physical RAM memory that must be installed in the computer, the amount of free hard drive space the computer must have, and the graphics capabilities of the computer. This brings the question, what happens if the computer does not meet the minimum hardware requirements? If a computer does not meet the minimum hardware requirements for an operating system, the chances are the installation will fail. It is possible sometimes to get an operating system to install on a computer that has slightly less than the minimum hardware requirements. When this is the case, although the operating system will install, the chances are it will not work correctly. This could be because of performance limitations and it could also be that the computer or the operating system crashes or hangs, which will not provide you with the best operating system experience. Now that we know what minimum hardware requirements are, let's take a look more closely at what the minimum hardware requirements are for Windows 8. When referring to the Windows 8 minimum hardware requirements, you should be aware that there are two architectures for Windows 8, the 32-bit architecture and the 64-bit architecture. Don't worry if you are unsure what these are right now, we will be covering them in a later lesson. The first minimum hardware requirement for Windows 8 is the processor requirement. If you are installing the 32-bit version of Windows 8, the processor speed must be at least 1 GHz. For the 64-bit architecture version of Windows 8, this is exactly the same, 1 GHz. The second minimum hardware requirement for Windows 8 is the RAM memory requirement. For a 32-bit version of Windows 8, this is 1 GB. If you are installing the 64-bit version of Windows 8, this is increased to 2 GB. The third minimum hardware requirement for Windows 8 is the hard drive requirement. If you are installing the 32-bit version of Windows 8, you need to have 16 GB of free hard drive space available. If you are installing the 64-bit version of Windows 8, this is increased to 20 gigabytes of free hard drive space. The final minimum hardware requirement for Windows 8 that you should be aware of is the graphics capability of the computer. If you are installing either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version of Windows 8, you need to ensure that the computer has DirectX 9 with WDDM 1.0. For those of you that are relatively new to the world of IT, DirectX is used to enhance the multimedia capabilities of a computer. This is especially the case with graphics and audio. It allows programs to provide realistic 3D graphics and good quality audio. DirectX 9 is required to run the Windows 8 Metro interface. DirectX 9 was first developed back in 2002 during the Windows XP era. It's been updated and enhanced throughout the years and to be honest unless you're using a computer that's older than 10 years 
this really shouldn't be a problem. That about covers it for Windows 8 minimum hardware requirements. Thanks for watching this presentation. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson and there will be more Windows 8 training coming soon.